What a privilege once again Lord has given unto us that despite of all the odds against us he is faithful and he is mindful that we may get together in his presence with shouts of joy and victory in our heart. We want to tell him Lord we love you because you have loved us first. The steadfast love of the Lord never ceaseth. His mercies never come to an end. They are new every morning, new every morning. Great is your faithfulness. Yes, this morning we want to declare this one to another. Great is his faithfulness towards his people. Even though we have many things going on in this world. Even we could not get together in person in his presence. But we thank the Lord. The same spirit is with us. And his spirit wants to minister unto us even today. That he wants to reveal his plans, his purposes unto us. He wants to cheer us up. He wants to bring down the kingdom of darkness. He wants to liberate many of us from the fear of the enemy. Before going into the Word of God, shall we pray and look unto the Lord? Have a gracious Lord, we give thee thanks and praise and worship and adoration for this opportunity. We treasure this time you have given unto us. Indeed, against all odds, here we are in your presence to hear from thee, to be molded by our Master's hand, to bring our worship unto thee. Thank thee, Lord. You are the same yesterday, today, and forever. You will never change. And so with this confidence, we commit this time into your hands. Lead us and guide us according to our personal need, according to our family need, as our fellowship need, minister unto us. So we just rejoice in thee and who thou art unto us. Prepare our hearts to hear from thee. And thus, o Lord, strengthen us in the innermost of our being. With thanksgiving, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. So this morning, I would like to title my message, as Lord has always given me this for my sermons, My Observations. Lord has always led me to this kind of things whenever I see someone, some family, some fellowships, the things happening in the world. Lord has always spoken to me and has helped me to do some kind of observations. We want to see his and working in many different ways good situations bad circumstances no matter what but he can reveal something so precious so vital so important to us if we open up our hearts and be willing to see what Lord is doing in the midst of chaotic things creative things, why he is building up, why he is tearing down. If we will ask the Holy Spirit, Lord, God the Holy Spirit, give me some insight into this and he will definitely teach us, reveal to us. He will manifest himself unto us even in this kind of situations and especially as we are going through this 
rough time, difficult times, chaotic time, which has touched the whole world, has troubled the whole world. In a sense, all the countries are being affected through this virus. And we know what is happening in the hearts of people, how the enemy is trying to trouble God's people and even the mankind in a sense because he is at war against God and we know he cannot do anything any harm to God because he is a defeated foe he's trying to trouble the Lord's creation we that he may trouble us and by troubling us he may try to take some kind of revenge against the Lord but this unseen enemy I think we have heard this phrase again and again on the media and one-to-one -one in our conversation unseen enemy but as I was just uh, looking at some scriptures, Lord led my attention to some. And I would like to draw your attention to this scripture portions. Please turn with me to 1st Timothy chapter 1 verse 17. Paul is writing this to Timothy and he discipled him and uh, he loved him dearly. And what he tells to Paul tells to uh, Timothy, now unto the king eternal, immortal, invisible the only wise God be honor and glory forever and ever amen if we just give some attention to this one verse out of the whole Bible I believe it is enough it is more than enough to comfort our hearts to lead us in glorious hope to build up our faith that we may not remain victim of fear of the enemy fear of the unseen virus so clear yes the virus is unseen and unseen virus unseen enemy invisible enemy we cannot see him and we are frightened but here the word of God tells us very clearly now unto the king eternal our Lord is a king eternal from the beginning he told Moses I am that I am I have no beginning no end such a Lord is our Lord we can claim him our very own what a privilege he has given us. We are his sons and daughters. We are his servants. We take great joy in one thing. That he is our king. Who is also called the king of kings and the lord of lords. And Paul is telling now unto the king eternal, immortal, invisible. The only wise God only wise God think about this one phrase Paul is using here by the unction and the anointing of the Holy Spirit these are not his words but he was prompted by the Holy Spirit to give these words that he may strengthen Timothy and even through his words we all may be strengthened so he says the only wise God all wise God and the scripture comes to my mind that uh, if anyone lacks wisdom let him ask from me I will give them without finding fault we lack wisdom and that's why we entertain this kind of fear and other things but if we have little guts if we have little wisdom will not become a victim of this unknown unseen uh, enemy which is trying to bring fear in our lives and trouble us all and he says to him be honor and glory forever and ever amen so this is 
why I'm telling this is to set the tone that we want to get rid of this notions, this kind of fear we have to. This is the time we should exercise our faith and walk with Jesus. You know, uh, these are, this is not the climax though. Uh, this Lord has allowed it, but He's going to overrule it. You know, when he is going to fulfill, accomplish his purpose with which he has allowed the circumstances, he is going to overrule it. He wants to accomplish something wonderful in our lives, in this world, in the people's life, throughout this world. He wants to accomplish. Our God is a God of plans. Our God is a God of purpose. He doesn't allow anything haphazardly. He has a great eternal, eternal plan and purpose for us. Even by allowing, after allowing this situation, circumstances. And when he is satisfied that yes, I have accomplished my purpose, I am going to overrule this. After I spoke these words to one Muslim lady as she was inquiring with me, what is happening? And right there and then the words came from my spirit. Enemy has meant it for evil, but the Lord has meant it for good. Even though she was not a believer, she was a Muslim lady. But maybe it was for me. Lord declared that. And then after that three, four places, I heard the same, exactly the same message, the same words. Enemy has meant it for evil, but the Lord has meant it for good, especially good for His people, especially good for me and for you. So with this assurance, we want to just go ahead uh, in this uh, uh, matter. This is the word from the Lord to all of us whenever we are going through difficult time we ourselves or on our behalf someone has to pray Lord open his eyes open her eyes open their eyes and Lord is going to answer that prayer and it is going to be the game changer it is going to turn everything around We will be joyful, rejoicing. We will have shouts of joy. And the scripture will be fulfilled. Let there be shouts of joy and victory resound in the tents of the righteous of the Lord. People will get together and rejoice when the Lord will open their inward eyes, spiritual eyes. And they will be able to not only see the nat in the natural realm, but in the supernatural realm. Do you think there is urgency in the air now? That our spiritual eyes may be opened? That we may see the activity happening in the unseen world, even the supernatural world? In the realm where we with our natural eyes cannot see we must pray Lord open our eyes and then we'll be able to see the hedge of his precious blood around us and we know there is power 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 wonder-working power in the blood of the Lamb the hedge of our Lord's blood is so powerful, so strong. Nothing, nobody, no devil can break that and come close to us, to harm us, to trouble us, to inflict us. Lord has covered us under His wings in this kind of troublesome days. Don't you believe this? When I mention about the wings, it reminds me of Ruth, 
the Moabite. She was a foreigner. She never knew about uh, Yahweh. She heard afterwards a lot about him. And when she lost her husband, she said to Naomi, her mother-in-law, I will go with you. Your God will be my God. Your people will be my people. And what the Lord told, Blessed art thou. You are blessed because you have come to find refuge under the wings of God of Israel. We need to just come to the Lord to find shelter under his wings and he will keep us, he will preserve us, he will protect us. I want to continue talking about this but we are already out of time uh, and uh, so much to tell and I, I think uh, we'll continue. Uh, may the Lord uh, strengthen you in the inmost of your being encourage one another by speaking forth the truth of the Lord scripture tells you will know the truth and the truth will set you free I have still struggles in believing the truth of the Lord because the lie of the enemy is so loud his lies are amplified so much in our ears. He don't just whispers. He don't just speaks. As if we have put on the headphones and then he will shout the lies in our ears. And when we take these lies, the battle will start in our mind. And when we'll start believing in his lies, we'll not believe in the truth of the Lord. Amy Carmichael, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, Amy Grant rather, sang a wonderful song. She wrote this song and also sang. And there she says, there's a voice of darkness and there's a voice of light. The voice which you will hear will win. Even though Lord's voice may be like a still small voice coming from behind, just a whisper, if you'll pay attention to that voice of our Lord, that voice will win the battle and this voice of the Lord will enable us to defeat the enemy, annihilate the enemy, this voice of the enemy will put to flight 10,000 voices of enemy. So may the Lord help us that we may hearken unto his truth. And the truth is, he says, I will never leave you nor forsake you. No weapon formed against you will prosper, said the Lord. I know the plans I have for you good plans. I want to bless you. I want to raise you up. I want to use you. I want to reveal myself to you and so forth. Be encouraged today until we may meet in person. We once again from the bottom of our hearts give thanks to the Lord for this provision and I know his provision will never fail his provision will never fail so let us fight a good fight of faith Ex let us exercise our faith and walk with Jesus as in that fiery furnace which was intensified seven times and these three servants of the Most High God, Shadrach, Meshach, Abednego, they were thrown into this fiery furnace. That fire could not burn them. Only their bonds were burned up. 
or free and then to King's great surprise he saw fourth man in that fiery furnace the Lord is with us in this time of trouble he is with us and if he is with us who can be against us let us give him glory honor and praise let me close with prayer gracious Lord we give thee thanks and praise for you are the source of all encouragement you are our hope you are the hope of glory and your scripture tells hope will never disappoint us we put our trust in thee we put our hope in thee we believe in thee and who thou art unto us you will never fail us you will never leave us soon these days are going to be over finish and we are going to celebrate because you are fighting our battles we are just following you we are marching at your trumpets and you will lead us in your one victory the battle is already won we have to just go through this time with you even having wonderful intimate one-to-one -one fellowship with you this is the time you have given us that we may have soul searching that we may come before thee and that you may just work in us your good pleasure teach us reveal yourself your plans purposes your revelations unto us so Lord thou may accomplish so much even through this be thou glorified with much thanksgiving in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ we pray Amen.